Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. The first Australopithecus specimen was discovered in 1924 in a lime quarry by workers at Town, South Africa. The specimen was studied by the Australian anatomist Raymond Dart, who was then working at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. The fossil skull was from a three-year-old bipedal primate that he named Australopithecus africanus. The first report was published in Nature in February 1925. Dart realized that the fossil contained a number of humanoid features, and so he came to the conclusion that this was an early human ancestor. Later, Scottish paleontologist Robert Broom and Dart set out to search for more early hominid specimens and several more Astropithecus africanus remains from various sites. Initially, anthropologists were largely hostile to the idea that these discoveries were anything but apes, though this changed during the late 40s. In 1950, evolutionary biologist Ernst Walter Mayer said that all bipedal apes should be classified into the genus Homo and considered renaming Australopithecus to Homo transvalensis. According to Contraview, taken by Robinson in 1954, excluding Australopithecus from Homo became the prevalent view. The first Australopithecine fossil discovered in eastern Africa was a Boise skull excavated by Mary Leakey in 1959 in El Duvai, George, Tanzania. Since then, the Leakey family has continued to excavate the gorge, uncovering further evidence for Australopithecines, as well as for Homo habilis and Homo erectus. The scientific community took 20 more years to widely accept Australopithecus as a member of the human family tree. In 1997, an almost complete Australopithecus skeleton with skull was found in the Sturkfontein Caves of Gauteng, South Africa. It is now called Littlefoot and is around 3.7 million years old. It was named Australopithecus prometheus, which has since been placed within Australopithecus africanus. Other fossil remains found in the same cave in 2008 were named Australopithecus sediba, which lived 1.9 million years ago. Australopithecus africanus probably evolved into Australopithecus sediba, which some scientists think may have evolved into Homo erectus, though this is heavily disputed.